thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I feel in many respects like a fish out of water on this. Um, uh, I go back 40 years ago when Sam Irwin was in the Watergate thing and he uh, uh, hearings and, and he said, I'm just a country lawyer. Um, and he had made some fairly profound remarks. Um, well, I'm just an engineer, uh, and I'm dealing with something that's a medical and a legal issue more than anything else. So I'm, I'm uh, really enjoying the conversation here with it, but uh, I, I'm caught with some of the discussion that we seem to be, from my perspective, um, more the ends justify the means. Um, I'm not sure that that's the way we're supposed to be doing it. Um, I, I don't think there's any question that people that are getting health care and medical benefits, are, that, that that's a good thing for them. But how do we get there? How do we get there? I mean, I, 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 I made some mental notes to myself about food. Um, we could rush food to market, but if we bypass the FDA in the process to make sure that the food's approved, it was supposed to get to market, then we shouldn't do it, but they benefited from it. Same thing with medicine. We have a lot of medicine that could help people, but we need to follow the process to make sure that it's appropriate for them. I, I, I'm, I'm lost with this. I, it, it, it just harkens back again to the same thing we heard uh, a, a year or so ago, the, uh, the administration saying that he had no authority. He said it 22 times. I have no authority uh, to deal with this immigration issue. But then he just went ahead and did it. Uh, I, I know that back uh, uh, during the testimony, they said that, they, that there was a request, that the president put in a request for appropriation, just like he did on immigration. He, was, he, was, he, knew he needed to have authority to do it. Well, he asked for authority for appropriations, but it was denied, but he went ahead and did it anyway. And then he apparently with just said, I'm going to do it. I'm just going to do it. So I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm curious of whether we have a rule of law a rule of man. I, I thought all the statements that we see on the walls around here, these are all the rules of law. So I, 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 I'm going to go back to this, I, I guess, to Rosenberg, perhaps. Um, if this, if Lazarus is right and this thing gets overturned, where do we go? Have, have we just opened the, the gates uh, to lack of control? Is there something in the appropriation process that we should be doing to prevent this from happening, if it's overturned, if it's upheld, then I think we're going to be okay because it's been, for, it's now, it appears that it will be clear you can't spend money that's not been appropriated or authorized, vice versa. What happens if they overturn it? What happens to us in our process? Can you elaborate a little on that, how we might, uh, what should we be doing, essentially, what should we be doing here in Congress then? Mr. Rosenberg. With regard to the appropriations process? Yeah, the whole thing. If, if this thing's overturned, what are we supposed to do? Get a new plan. <laughs> Get a new what? Pass laws. If, 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 if the problem is uh, there wasn't an appropriation and you think there should be an appropriation for it, pass it. But the, yeah. the, uh, you have to have a plan, and you have to have, you know, uh, the votes to do it. Okay. Mr. Miller, uh, same, same question. Uh, what, should we, what should Congress be, be doing at this point? Well, we've tried to fix these problems in the past, and your uh, historical example is rather apt because there was a lot of controversy uh, in the 1970s, not only about uh, Watergate, but about the budget process. I remember working on impoundment authorities, and, and we passed the whole uh, Budget Act, which supposedly to, to deal with that. Uh, it encourages the worst instincts in, in, in both sides. Uh, you get into uh, trench warfare, where Congress would retaliate in various ways, not as effectively, uh, where you'd try to you'd be shutting down the government, you'd be trying to hold other appropriations hostage, uh, and that just makes our politics descend into a worse example as who can get away with as much as possible. Uh, the, this is a fundamental legal, structural, constitutional issue here beyond what you prefer in, in, in health policy in particular. Uh, all parties need to be accountable in the broad daylight to say, here's what our argument is, we're voting for it, we're going to find out what, what happens and what the public will support. You can't do an end run around the process or you get this type of improvisation where the administration tries to run out in front of what the law says and then Congress has to play catch up. Thank you. I, I yield back my back.